Good day, math learners. I'm back. In this topic, we will discuss about meshes of variability of group data. So consider the example below. The list gives the number of hours spent by grade 7 students on leisure activities during a typical school week. Find the range, average deviation, standard deviation, and variance. We you know already what measures of variability mean in our past discussion, right? Okay, so this will be the given data as shown in the table, or as you can see in the table. When we say range, the range of data in a group frequency distribution is the difference between the upper limit of the highest class interval and the lower limit of the lowest class interval. In symbols, range is equal to UH minus LL, or, or it, you can say it's as upper limit of the highest class interval, LL is lower limit of the lowest class interval. In the given table, the highest class interval is 26 to 30, and its upper limit is 30 while the lowest class interval is 6 to 10 and its lower limit is 6 that's why 30 minus 6 30 minus 6 the range is equal to 24 and that will be the value of our range Next will be the average deviation. The average deviation of group data can be calculated using the formula. Average deviation is equal to summation of the frequency absolute value of x minus mean over n, where f is the frequency, ad stands for the average deviation x for our given value, and this will be the symbol for our mean, and n stands for the number of measurements or the number of data. Example number one. So this will be our given data, as you can see in the table. Step one, add five columns for x, fx, quantity x minus the mean quantity absolute value x minus mean and frequency times the absolute value of x minus mean this will be the table please familiarize this table okay first column for x second column for fx third column for x minus the mean, fourth column for the absolute value of the x minus mean, and the fifth column frequency times the absolute value of x minus the mean. Same data. Step 2. Fill in the third column. Find the class mark x of each class interval by adding the lower and upper limits of each class and dividing the sum by 2. Okay, so this will be our upper limit and this will be uh, our lower limit and this will be our upper limit which is 30. So just simply add 26 plus 30 that will be 56 divided by 2 that will be 28. That's why 28 is here. Same here 21 plus 25 that will be 46 divided by 2 and that is 23. 16 plus 20, that will be 36, divided by 2, that's why 18. 11 plus 15, that will be 26, divided by 2, that will be 13. 6 plus 10, that will be 16, divided by 2, that's why 8. Step 3. Fill in the fourth column. Solve for fx. 
by multiplying the frequency and the class mark. So just simply multiply 8 times 28. 8 for our frequency. And x for our class mark. So 8 times 28 and that will be 224. 12 times 23, that will be 276. 7 times 18, that will be 126. 6 times 13, that will be 78. 2 times 8, that will be 16. Because frequency times x, that's why fx. Okay, step, step 4. Find the sum of fx. When you say sum, you are dealing with summation. Summation of fx. So you just simply add all the values of fx here. Okay, you will add 224 plus 276 plus 126 plus 78 plus 16. And the summation of fx is equal to 720. Step 5. Find the total number of values, which is n, and solve for the mean of the given data. So, from the given frequency is 8, 12, 7, 6, 2. Just simply add all the frequency so that you can get the value of our n. So, 8 plus 12 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2, and that is equal to 35. And the value of our n is equal to 35. Then you can get the value of our mean because the formula is the summation of fx over n. The summation of fx, as we already got in our uh, from our past slide, that will be summation of fx is 720 and our n is 35. Okay, uh, I repeat, summation of fx in our past slide that will be the value of 720. And our n is equal to 35. 720 divided by 35. And that is equal to 20.57. Make sure your answer must be in two decimal places. Run off your answer in nearest hundreds. Step 6. Fill in the fifth column. Solve for the division by adding or by finding the difference of the class mark and the mean. So remember our mean is 20.57. Okay. Just simply subtract x to the mean. So 28 minus 20.57. That will be 7.43. Same here, 23 minus the mean or 23 minus 0 point, uh, 20 point 20.57, that is 2.43. 18 minus 20.57, that will be negative 2.57. 13 minus 20.57, that is negative 7.57. 8 minus 20.57, that is negative 12.57. Okay, step 7. Solve for the values in the sixth column, which is the absolute division of x minus the mean. So, hint, just make all the values in the fifth column. This will be our fifth column. Just make all of them into positive. So, it's positive 7.4. 7.43, positive 2.43, positive 2.57, positive 7.57, positive 12.57. Step 8. For the seventh column, find the product of the frequency multiplied to our absolute division. So, F times this one, the X or the absolute value of x minus the mean. So 8 times 7.43, that is 59.44. 12 
times 2.43 that is equal to 29.16 7 times 17.99 uh, I mean 7 times 2.57 and that is equal to 17.99 6 times 7.57 that is equal to 45.42 2 times 12.57 and that is equal to 25.14 step 9 find the sum of the frequency times the absolute value of x minus the mean just simply add all the values for this column okay add all the values in this column 59.44 plus 29.16 plus 17.99 plus 45.42 plus 25.14 and the summation of f multiplied the absolute value of x minus the mean using your calculator that will be 177.15 now we can get the value of our average deviation because the formula is just simply Summation of frequency multiplied to the absolute value of x minus the mean divided by f. The value of our summation of frequency uh, multiplied by the absolute value of x minus the mean, that will be 177.15. And the value of our n is 35. 177.15 divided by 35, that will be equal to 5.06. Make sure your answer must be in two decimal places or run off your final answer into two decimal places. Okay. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment.